Hello, 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 you guys, and welcome to episode four of Plant Facts. I'll admit, for this video, I fell down a really weird plant hole on the internet. And because of that, today we are going to learn if we are all a bunch of unconvicted serial killers by answering the question, can plants feel pain? We all know that plants can respond to negative stimuli. For example, take the rambunctious gypsy moth. These suckers are capable of killing an entire tree within a couple creepy, crawly, fluttery generations. So, that raises the question, if the tree is able to respond to the attack by showcasing injured leaves, dropping foliage, halting regrowth, and eventually dying, does that mean that it's also able to feel the attack that it's clearly responding to? Long-ish story short, no at least not like us. And that's because plants lack the nervous system and brain that us and other animals use when we perceive pain. And our current understanding of pain involves sensory and emotional subjective components. And since plants don't have these structures, there's no scientific evidence to show that they can feel in the same way that humans and animals do. However, you might rightfully be asking, then why would some plants negatively react to and employ a fierce volley of molecular responses when being attacked? If they couldn't feel what was going on and interpret it as bad. Like why would the manioc, for example, even bother establishing the ability to poison something simply because it was injured? Or why would something as simple as a mustard weed alert surrounding plants in the area to oncoming danger? Or why would a carnivorous plant close in on and digest an insect when it feels its vibrations rather than reacting to any vibration in general? I mean, aren't those all clear signs of intelligence and awareness? And the answer is yes. I mean, for crying out loud, plants fight for territory, seek out food, evade predators, and trap prey. Books have been written on this, universities have studied this, but there still doesn't seem to be any concrete answer. And this is because in many ways, plants are alien creatures. We come in peace, Lily. Science is always evolving and always advancing, so perhaps in the future we will find out that plants are sentient and able to feel in their own way. And when that day comes, if it comes, we are going to have to seriously analyze how we treat these little green leafy fellas. But for now, the answer is no. Plants do not feel pain, at least not like us. However, I suppose you could also argue that the book is still open and therefore you could argue the topic is still up for debate. But after hearing about cucumbers crying when they experience mold and vegetables letting out cries when they're cut in the form of gases being expelled, I think for me, this book is closing. <laughs> <laughs> So about a year or so ago, I began to pay a little bit more attention to succulents and my collection and knowledge of them began to grow. As I learned more about them, I realized that some of them are multi-purpose. And I knew in the past, for example, I had a friend who would literally drink aloe water, which was both disgusting and fascinating because I kept picturing like that jelly goop that you find in the drugstore where it's like, <sighs> like a living slime creature, and you're like, why? Why would you ingest that? In any case, that's not what she would drink, because that's probably highly toxic. In any case, I went on a mad hunt to find myself a nice aloe plant. I felt like it was something I needed in my collection specifically to have in my kitchen, which is actually where it ended up living. You can see it in my plant tour part two, but whatever, back to, back to the story. So I get the plant, everything is going well, until summer, wherein my dear, sweet uh -oh. Ryan 
He's right. He's right here. No, I'm not. Decides to take his fair Irish skin out into the backyard for an entire day with no shirt and no sunscreen. I know. He was a lobster, a blistering crustacean. He comes in, he's clearly in pain, but I reassure him, I have just the solution. I go walk over to my kitchen to teach him a lesson. I reach for my spear of aloe. I take it and walk purposefully over to his weakened flesh. And I go, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I smothered his blisters of aloe. You should have seen it. There was aloe everywhere. It was a very messy slime scene. Oh, Get it? wow. Two jokes in one. Say hello to my little friend. Slime scene, crime scene. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Plant Facts. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to keep making videos like this for you guys. Bye. What is that squirrel doing? Okay. Mm.